Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Chris. I'm a fifth year medical student studying at the University of Edinburgh. Today I thought I'd chat to you guys about one of the more difficult questions that you can be asked in your medical school interviews and one of the more difficult questions that you, you have to face yourself when you're going through the med school application process and that's what do you do if you don't get into medicine. So there's two key things uh, that you have to consider when you're trying to think about and answer this question. The first is to make sure that you have a very mature perspective on your chances of getting into medical school and the second is the actual backup plan uh, or backup plans that you have in place just in case you aren't successful in your med school application process first time. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through both of those points. One of the first points that you have to consider is do you want to reapply to medical school? Now, being rejected from medical school does not mean that you are the bad person, that you are an incompetent person, um, or that you are not deserving of a place in medical school. And so many people reapply to medical school once, twice, three, sometimes even four times before they get in. And at the end of the day, once you're the doctor, that's all anyone cares about. They don't care how many times you had to apply to get into med school in the first place. So if you are then successful in your med school application, one of the first things that you have to consider is where did I go wrong? Um, which aspect of my application was a week in um, that meant that I was rejected from that particular medical school. So a lot of the time you can identify yourself the likely areas where you um, were weakest at. For instance, uh, your UCAT or BMAT or GAMSAT score uh, might have been lower than you expected or you might have been in a lower decile once, you, once the rankings uh, came out for those examinations. Or you know that you maybe performed a little bit weaker in particular interview questions questions um, that you were asked. And so the most important thing here is to identify those issues and be absolutely honest with yourself. And another important thing that you can do if um, it is a bit more ambiguous as to the reasons why you were rejected is that you can sometimes get in contact with those medical schools that you were rejected from to see if they can give you any, in, any specific information as to the reason why they rejected you. And the second thing that you have to consider is what are you going to do for the next year until you then reapply in the next application cycle. And so there are a number of things that you could do. Um, you could completely take the youth out, uh, not work, not do any further studies, and instead focus on your weaknesses, enroll in some courses, or do your own uh, personal studying. Take more time to develop more extensive work experience and reflect on those in greater detail, and then apply during the next application cycle. However, you can also work during your year out of education um, and a really good opportunity would actually be to work within healthcare um, whether that be working as a carer, working as a healthcare assistant in a hospital uh, or in my case working part-time uh, as a porter in a hospital which I'm doing right now and all of these are really good experiences and in that context you would get a greater benefit with a prolonged period of time spent within a clinical environment as opposed to doing work experience when you're only spending max one to two days within a clinical scenario or environment. And the final option is to do a degree. So whether you're doing a four-year undergraduate degree in Scotland or a three-year undergraduate degree in England, you can choose a degree that is allied to medicine, such as biomedical sciences, medical sciences, biochemistry, whatever that might be. Choose a subject you know that you're going to enjoy, uh, you'll know that you'll gain benefit from. You'll then be more mature three or four years down the line once you do reapply to medicine, and you'll hopefully have gained more work experience, etc than that undergraduate degree so you'll overall be in a much stronger position to reapply. So I think that's everything uh, that, that I wanted to suggest. Obviously this is limited, the suggestions that I've made and there are lots of other options uh, that people can take if they're rejected from medical school. So if you guys do have any other possible options uh, that people could take or if you have any questions that you want to ask me feel free just to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you and also while you're at it please feel free to subscribe again leave any comment that you like and also like the video because it helps the channel out a ton so just to give a little plug at the end I do have a website called applymedic.com um, it helps students through every aspect of the medical school application process in the UK and we have things like personal statement reviews one-to-one -one mock interviews and we just released a brand new ebook taking you through step by step everything you need to know to perform well in med school interviews so we'll leave links in the description so that you guys can check those out if you want i'll see you next week